Hey tubers, looks like uh, an 8 end tractor here, uh, pulling out the PTO shaft coming out the rear end. Uh, ran into some problems. Right in here, you can see there's four bolts we had to take out and then try to get the shaft to come out. Well, I couldn't get the seal to break loose, so what we ended up having to do is separate the transmission from the front half or sorry from the back half here and uh, kind of drive it out from the other side all right so here we are looking at it from the transmission side and uh, basically the trick I used to get it out I used my uh, dead blow and a hammer put the dead blow here hit it with the hammer and then out she pops couldn't get it to break loose from the rear end, but that seemed to be the trick. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drop the uh, hydraulic pump down out of there. And uh, I got some new parts, and we're going to go through how to rebuild the pump. All right, so now we got all the bolts out. I got stuck on the one here. The, little sh the top of the bolt head was had a little bit of a mushroom on the side. Kind of jammed me up there a little bit. But what I did is I stuck a pretty heavy duty screwdriver in through the shaft. That way when it falls down, it only go down about an inch. And then I can basically get a hand under there and get her down. While I'm working this last bolt out. cleaned up kind of see how things go back together obviously this is the piston that's going to actuate the hydraulic fluid and pump it up and then there's the uh, valve assembly I'm going to take these valves there's a, the valve seat the actual individual valves. And then uh, you're going to reassemble them back in there. And here's your springs. The upper part of the valve. springs here. Separate those two buggers apart. There you go. And we'll show you how them go this all goes together. <laughs> 